In this video, we'll take a look at Willowware's BOM Import module. BOM Import for GP Manufacturing is a highly flexible tool for importing bills of material into GP from Excel. The import process can provide default values for most of the fields required to create the BOM, which streamlines the import process by requiring only a few key fields. There's an import mapping tool which adapts the import to whatever file layout is provided, be that from a CAD package or an export from another ERP system. BOM import can import multiple levels of a BOM and multiple separate BOMs from a single spreadsheet. New items can be created on the fly through the use of template items and an integration between Willowware's BOM import module and Willowware's item copy utility, which can be found in the manufacturing power pack. Let's head into GP to see how this tool is utilized. Once you've entered Dynamics GP, navigate to the manufacturing module. Underneath Setup, you'll find the BOM import map. Selecting it will open up the import map window. In here, we need to define our map ID. An import map is required, and this map provides instructions for BOM import on how to create the bills of material, what source fields to use from the Excel spreadsheet, and how to provide default values. Give your map ID a name. You can have multiple map IDs to support different file layouts. Give your map ID a description. Now we need to look at our Excel spreadsheet. Which row does our data start in? My Excel spreadsheet has a header row, so my data starts in row 2. I've selected to regenerate low-level codes. It's a good idea to check this off, since importing bombs may add or remove levels from existing bombs. You may want the system to automatically recalculate your low-level codes after the import. Now we have a decision to make. If bombs already exist in the system, do we want them to be revisioned up, or would we prefer to delete them and have our new bill of material come in fresh? I've selected revision. The balance of our window is where we map the columns of our spreadsheet to the fields that need to be imported. We can see here that I've listed the parent item to come from my source field, which is column A. If I move my import map window out of the way and open up my BOM import sample, we'll see that my parent column is column A. My parent BOM type is set to default, which is a manufacturing BOM. I've mapped my rev level to column I, and as we can see from the spreadsheet, that's where it lies, as well as my parent template item, which is in column H. A parent template item is required if your parent item does not exist in the system. This is where the BOM import tool will utilize Willowware's item copy utility to create the part number. Parent item description is set to column B, and my child item, which is required, is in column C. That's my components. Also required is the quantity per. That can be found in column F. And I've marked certain items to back flush and others not. You can see that there are quite a few extra fields which I've just let be set to the default. I don't need a column on my spreadsheet to fill those in. The system automatically knows what to do with them for me. And if I had any child items that didn't exist in the system, I would need to add a column for the child template item. Once you're done mapping, you just save the import map and exit the window. The next step is to import our bombs. So while still in the manufacturing module, I'm going to navigate to Utilities, Bomb Import. When my Bomb Import window opens, I'm going to select the map ID that I just created. 
and I'm going to select my source file. This is the Excel file that I used when I was creating my mapping. And the next step I'm going to do is just select the import button. When I do, I'm going to receive a progress status down here. When the bomb import is completed, we'll see that the tool shows us it's done. Let's go take a look at one of those bombs we just imported. I'm going to navigate to Bills of Materials, which is under Cards. And I'm going to pull up part number Chair 6. As we can see, the part number was created for us, as Chair 6 didn't exist. It's been brought in with the rev level we specified of rev level 1. And all of the component items have come in with the quantities that we had specified on the spreadsheet, as well as the issue from issue 2. And if a part number had the backflush item set, then it's been checked off for us. And if it wasn't set, it hasn't been checked off. This concludes our overview of the BOM import tool. If you'd like more information on this tool or any of the other products that Willowware has to offer, please visit our website at www.willowware.com or shoot us an email to sales at willowware.com. Thanks.